The summer of 2024 is heating up and it's always the season of new game news. From uh, Summer Game Fest to an Xbox thing to Future Game Show and more. There's gonna be some good stuff. So today we want to talk about 10 hypothetical new game announcements that the Game Ranks crew here would be really excited to see. Uh, keep in mind, this is a mix of uh, educated speculation and just some pipe dream wish fantasy stuff. Just some game reveals, whether realistic or not, that we'd really like to see. We got a good mix here to make for a less predictable video. We got 10 things, so let's get started off with number 10 and start with an obvious one. It's a new Resident Evil announcement. There could be a bunch of things. Take your pick. The Resident Evil Code Veronica remake that has been rumored for years. The more recently rumored Resident Evil Zero remake. Then of course, the bigger ones that people are asking for, a Resident Evil 5 remake. but also Resident Evil 9. It feels like it's getting close to time for a new mainline Resident Evil entry. We know it's been in the works, but frankly, we don't really know anything about it. There's been rumors floating around for years now. And Resident Evil 9, if you ask me, could be practically anything with the end of the whole Ethan Winters thing and with Rose kind of uh, wrapped up in DLC, they could really go back to the classic characters, continue that story or introduce new characters. I have no idea what could happen, but something Resident Evil 9 being announced would be really cool. Also, I mean, really anything. We argue back and forth here about which game needs to be remade the most, but me personally, I just have a big soft spot in my heart for Resident Evil Code Veronica. If you ask me, this is a really good one to help like fill in the blanks of the early fun Resident Evil lore stuff. We have two remake, we have three remake, we have four remake, but Code Veronica would sit nicely right in the middle. People who only play the Resident Evil 2 remake wanna see where Claire's story goes, right? Well, that's a perfect opportunity. Either way, there's a lot of potential for anything Resident Evil, whether it's announced this summer or not. Uh, we're just hoping to see something soon. Next over at number nine, we have Gears 6. This one has been rumored for quite some time. The follow up to Gears of War 5, or really Gears 5, they dropped the of war part, which I don't really get. But hey, this could continue things nicely. I, I really wonder where it could go. It could do some interesting things with the newer established characters. It could still potentially do some interesting things with Marcus Phoenix. That guy deserves a send off at some point, right? I, either way, Gears 6 has been rumored for a while now. I think a lot of people are just looking at the math, the, you know, the time since the last Gears game, but also the fact that Xbox now is sitting on a lot of IP, a lot of game franchises, and they need to start getting them out there. They need things to be announced. People are waiting for what's next, especially with all the questions raised more recently. So Gears 6 will be a good answer for some of that. Next over at number eight, Borderlands 4. Borderlands 3 was a good time, but it didn't necessarily blow the franchise out of the water, bring it to new heights. A Borderlands 4 could really push things forward. And also with the Borderlands movie releasing, they would be smart to capitalize on that with a new Borderlands game. If the timing really added up, that would be, you know, a smart move. I'm not a business guy, but that would make sense to me. We've seen some Borderlands 4 rumors for a while now. Honestly, just looking at the slate of releases and when the last games released, it makes sense if they are continuing Borderlands uh, for us to hear something soon. How are they gonna change up the franchise? Is it gonna go bigger, better? I don't know, but it'd be really cool to see what they're doing with it soon. Now, next over at number seven, we have uh, a new Doom game, which this one is probably pretty likely. Uh, you've probably seen the reports, the headlines recently about a new Doom game kind of leaking. It was originally called Doom Year Zero uh, through leaked Microsoft court documents when they were doing the whole acquisition thing. But as of right now, the newest leak, according to Insider Gaming, is suggesting that the game is being called Doom The Dark Ages and is more of like a medieval themed throwback game, like a sci-fi fantasy medieval thing. It makes sense if you played Doom Eternal, uh, this could essentially go back in time to the early days of the Doom Slayer, you know, where all that mysticism and lore was revealed at the later half of that game. A lot of that was told through like in-game texts and stuff like that, but this could actually show all of that.
the Doom Slayer before he got trapped in a coffin and sealed for years waiting to be awakened. That could be pretty cool. And with it being medieval, I wonder if it would still focus on guns or maybe more melee. I, I don't know. If it is medieval, I expect it to be more of like a hell sci-fi medieval more than just traditional medieval. Either way, seeing the Doom Slayer and that style of gameplay in a completely new setting would actually be really refreshing. And if this rumor does shake out to be true, I would be very interested in playing something like that. But we're gonna have to just wait and see. You know, nothing is set in stone yet, but if it is announced, it's probably gonna be announced at Xbox's thing because again, Xbox owns Bethesda, which is Doom, so there you go. Next over at number six, out of left field, uh, some of us here would really want to see a Sekiro sequel. I know that sounds like a total pipe dream, a total fantasy at this point, but you know what? Crazier things have happened. Weirdly enough, Sekiro was actually published by Activision. This was like the only From Software game to be published by them. So with Activision being Activision, there's probably some appetite for a sequel somewhere, but it's really a question of whether or not From Software would actually do it. A lot of people think, no, not anytime soon, with Miyazaki and his team focused on a bunch of other things, like continuing Elden Ring with the massive hit that that was. Uh, he even alluded to maybe pursuing even more Armored Core games after Armored Core 6. So Sekiro is probably low on the list, but could you imagine a sequel to this game? You know, it would be pretty awesome. Just another game with this specific distinct style of gameplay. It's a very much an offshoot from what From Software usually does, but it would totally work for a follow-up game. Wishful thinking, you know, you might say keep dreaming, and yeah, you know what? We will with this one, because Sekiro, the original, was freaking awesome. Next over at number five, another kind of crazy one, but it's one that's been in conversation recently is a new Fallout game, Fallout something, whether it's like a re-release of the old classic Fallout games or remasters of those games, or just a new full-on Fallout game, that would absolutely surprise us. I think a new mainline Fallout game, like a Fallout 5 or something like that, is very less likely. Of course, Todd Howard has gone on record recently, and you know how Bethesda makes games. They take their time, and there's a long gap between them, and right now they're working on a bunch of other things. But there's also been a lot of conversation recently with Xbox and Microsoft kind of reorienting things with Bethesda and trying to focus on more games releasing. So maybe there is another Fallout something thing on the horizon. A full new Fallout game, I think it's gonna take some time before we get that, but maybe this year we will see full proper like remaster, re-releases of the original Fallout games. I don't know, but the business executives out there are definitely tasting the Fallout fever, the Fallout mania that has cropped up again. The rise in popularity of the games, you know, the resurgence there, uh, the fact that the show is a massive hit, all of that really just makes us believe that maybe we'll see more from Fallout sooner rather than later. Next over at number four, FIFA 2K25. Yes, believe it or not, just a few days ago, this was a, a leak, you know? We don't know how credible the leaker is, but they suggested that 2K will be developing the next FIFA game. And whether or not it's true, it seems like a lot of FIFA fans were just happy to hear that, you know, maybe an actual proper competitor for EA FC 2024 after many, many years because Konami screwed up PES or PES as they rebranded that to eFootball. And people are just tired of the EA football soccer thing at this point. So FIFA 2K25 could be something totally different, totally special and maybe a breath of fresh air for football fans. I think it's desperately needed at this point, but whoever is making that next game, like that is a money machine, man. The people who are into these games are diehard fanatics. And some of us here behind the scenes, not me, uh, but some of us here at Game Ranks really, really like football and they're holding out hope for this one. 
Next down at number three, a new Castlevania game. This would absolutely freak us out. We would love to hear this because, I mean, at this point, Konami seems like they're getting back into games. It's been years since they've really capitalized on a lot of their franchises, and now here they are once again. You know, they re-released Metal Gear Solid remasters. Uh, they're also working on multiple Silent Hill games, including a Silent Hill 2 remake, among many others. So there is a slight possibility that maybe they decide to also revive Castlevania Maybe they're already in the process of doing that, but they just haven't revealed it yet. I don't know, but it just makes so much sense. They're putting all their properties out there. They want to make money again, clearly. Castlevania had a hit Netflix show. The brand power is probably still strong. So hey, maybe at some point we'll get a new Castlevania game. I don't know if it will be announced like this summer or anything like that, but who knows? Maybe further down the line. They've been doing great collaborations with other games, like with V Rising and the excellent Dead Cells collaboration. So uh, yeah, who knows what the future holds with this one. Now down at number two, we're getting crazy again. Uh, Bloodborne, let's talk Bloodborne. We could say a Bloodborne 2 announcement would blow us away, you know, like a PlayStation thing because Bloodborne is a PlayStation property, but also really, we know that's not gonna happen. We'd be happy to just have a Bloodborne re-release. I don't know, a 4K patch, a 60 FPS patch, a remake, even as crazy as that is to say, I don't know, but Bloodborne was such a special game for its fun, awesome, you know, Souls-like gameplay but also just incredible art design, world direction, enemy design. There's nothing else like it out there on the market. So a revival of that would make us really happy. Even if a different developer took on Bloodborne 2, we'd be skeptical, you know, we'd be a little nervous, but we'd be happy to see the series continue. But maybe just, you know, a 60 FPS patch, that's all I'll take, man. They could come out on stage and just announce that and a lot of people will be very happy. Now finally, down at number one, Naughty Dog's next game. We have no idea what it is or when it's coming, but we know that they've been working on stuff for a while. And really, it's a lot of Sony's first party studios. Naughty Dog's next game, we'd love to see that, but we'd also like to see Sucker Punch's next game, as well as Sony Santa Monica's next game. Like, are they following up God of War Ragnarok? What's the deal? I don't know. Either way, we're definitely sitting on some reveals for some of these big heavyweights. With Naughty Dog specifically, I'm really curious to see what it is, especially because they were working on The Last of Us multiplayer spinoff, The Last of Us Factory actions and they canceled that, which means they're just doubling down and putting all their efforts into whatever the heck they're making right now. Is it The Last of Us Part 3? Doesn't sound like that's it right away. It's probably something different, but we have no idea. We have no guesses really, but hopefully we hear something from Naughty Dog, Sucker Punch, Sony Santa Monica, Housemark, the people behind Returnal, just something cool soon. Well, those are 10 new game announcements that could potentially blow us away, stuff that we would really love to see. Again, not all realistic stuff for this summer, but some potential. So let us know in the comments what you'd like to see. Hit us with your pipe dream, wish, fantasy, you know, even if it's unrealistic, and then also hit us with something a little bit more realistic that you're hoping to see. We can talk about anything really down in the comments, so hit us up, we'd love to hear from you. And if you like this video and you like talking games with us every day, clicking the like button's all you gotta do. It really helps us out, but stay subscribed because we're gonna be talking about all the new games announced very soon. Either way, thanks for watching though, and we'll see you guys next time.